Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Brandon Morvillius alongside here with me is cameraman Jordan Redbeard McCoy. Here on the WHS Network on YouTube.com. Here as we have Lady Raider basketball coming your way here this evening from Winchester Fieldhouse in Winchester, Indiana. As we have your 7-2 Wapahoney Lady Raiders taking on the 10-0 Winchester Lady Golden Falcons. Going to be a heck of a showdown here tonight, folks. Um, both teams, you know, obviously uh, know each other, play against each other every year. Uh, the last two years, uh, this Winchester team has gotten to the state championship uh, in which they have fallen both times. Uh, so state runner-ups, but that's still a lot to be proud of. Um, so a big game here tonight for Wapa Honey as we get right into things with our Raiders line pregame presented by FC Tucker, Muncie Realtors, Ted Cook, and Joanne Davis. Uh, Wapa Honey, their last time out on Tuesday, had a very, very big victory over the Yorktown Lady Tigers in which the Raiders were able to come away with a victory there to uh, improve the 7-2 on the year. And, yeah, that's a, that's a big victory in its own right, but especially to do it on the road, uh, you know, in a hostile environment. And, you know, that's um, really, I, I believe it was a confidence booster, at least I hope it was, uh, here for this Lady Raider basketball team. You know, they've had a little bit of a rough stretch, um, three or four games, you know, haven't played their best. They've lost a couple in that time in which the two games they have lost this year have been by a combined three points. Um, you know, but, you know, we just weren't playing up to par. And even in that first half uh, the other night against Yorktown, you know, everybody would say it, they didn't play very good uh, one bit at all. But that's why there's two halves to a basketball game. We came out ready to play in the second half, and um, that's why we was able to get the victory. Free throw shooting is against still yet to be desired. Hopefully... Uh, they worked on some of that Wednesday or well yesterday and uh, hopefully come back out here tonight and, and put on a good performance from the free throw line but uh, you know we've got to be clicking on all cylinders here this evening this is a a team here by uh, or for Winchester that averages uh, right around 75 points a game only allows 42 uh, the Raiders I know uh, I think on average are right around uh, 55 60 points uh, per game, so uh, you know, obviously a, a little bit less than them on the offensive end. Um, but defensively, we've continued to be solid, and we have to be solid here tonight to give ourselves a chance to win. That's where it all starts um, for Wampahoney, and really ends, you know, is on the defensive end. We've got to get stops. We've, we've got to uh, create turnovers, deflect passes, uh, contest shots. You know, do the basic uh, facets of the game. We, we have to do it correctly here tonight against the. Uh, a good Winchester team, but we're right here in a good situation, great opportunity on the road uh, to knock off a big team here, and especially considering Winchester is undefeated, you'd love to hand them their first loss of the season. Uh, not to mention, I believe they're ranked in top 10 in, uh, in 3A as well, so uh, just you know, kind of adding to the resume, if you will, here for Wapa Honey, if you can come away with a victory here tonight. So a lot of incentives, a lot to play for, and um, I, I'm really hoping that Wapahoney uh, comes out here with the uh, with the right attitude and can bring it uh, bring it to the table here tonight. So really looking forward to this. We've been looking forward for this one actually for quite a while. This is always a game you circle on the calendar. Uh, you know Yorktown on Tuesday. You know this uh, here tonight, and then we got Franklin next week. All three games uh, in a row, very tough games, and they're all on the road, and they're all extremely important games. Uh, so we'll see what happens here tonight, folks. Should be a good one. We've got uh, more coming your way. Again, this has been our Raiders Line pregame presented by FC Tucker, Muncie Realtors, Ted Cook, and Joanne Davis. Again, uh, the national anthem and starting lineups coming up. We'll be back with more right after this break.
All righty, folks, welcome back here on the WHS Network on YouTube.com. Take a look here at the starting laps for both teams. First, the non-starters for your Wampahoney Lady Raiders. Number three, Kendall Thrasher. Number four, Reese Baker. Number 12, Layla Lee. Number 23, Malia York. Number 30, Ashley England. Number 31, Lauren Luce. Number 32, Trini Brozier. And number 33, Jalen Willis. So now for your starters, starting at one guard, number two, Lexi Will. Starting at guard, number 11, Madison Thompson. Starting at one four, number 22, Lexi Humbert. And another four, number 24, Lexi Morrow. And at the four, number 25, Cameron Wise. And the Raiders coached by Scott Hudson. And assisted by Candy Jolly as well as Carly Bongs. And Sidney Cook. So now for the non-starters for the Winchester Golden Falcons. We have number four, Gina Moore. Number five, Ara Cowper. Number 12, Lily Lanter. Number 20, Taylor Baker. Number 32, Brooklyn Hummel. Number 50, Taylor Hicks. And number 54, Mariah Lanter. Now for the starters. Starting at guard number two, Madeline Lawrence. Starting at guard number three, Becca Chamberlain. At guard number 10, Morgan Lawrence. At four, number 11, Caitlin Campbell. And at guard number 23, Mason Chamberlain. Apologize on the graphic. It should say guard there for Chamberlain, not four. So then that is the starting lineups here for both teams. Again, here is uh, both teams coming in for the night. Starting off with a pretty good start to the regular season. 7-2 here for Wampahoney. 10-0 here for Winchester. And um, again, you know, throughout the, throughout the years here, they, these two teams have always... Um, Kind of been with throwing each other's side. You know, we say that a lot with the boys' basketball teams as well. And really the same holds true for both of these teams. And uh, and so this is going to be a, just another classic matchup here. Obviously, Winchester off to the, another strong start here to this season, coming off of uh, two appearances in the state finals in the last two years. And so, again, there's some added incentive here tonight for Wapahoney, knocking off, uh, hopefully knocking off, a uh, class three, a number 14 uh, as Winchester will get it going early with Madeline Lawrence for two. Thompson now on to Wise into the corner. Lexi will finding Hummer back outside. Thompson will take the three and it's going to be off the mark. Rebounded there by number three back to Chamberlain and off and running on the Falcons. Three-pointer up, no good. It's going to head out of bounds. On the shot there was Macy Chamberlain. We'll say this as well. Uh, this Winchester team has two seniors starting along with three freshmen. Uh, so that is something you don't see every day. So this, uh, this team obviously must be pretty talented to have uh, three freshmen come in here. And being a starting lineup as the Raiders turn it over for the first time tonight. So Chamberlain up top. Try to go by Lexi. Wolf swung on now. Dip down low. Lawrence will get it blocked by Lexi Morrow. So Morrow, Morrow will try to get that right on out of here. Humbert now for two and knocks it down. So the Raiders get on the board for the first time tonight. Shot's going to be up, no good, and deflected out of bounds. Off of, looks like off of Wampa Honey. Off the mark there, Humbert collects on the board, her first of the night. Down forward, and that's going to be another Raider turnover. Lawrence here in the corner now to the free throw line to number 11. Now Lawrence again at the helm of things, guarded by Lexi Humbert. Cam 
Campbell takes it right down the middle and will not get the bracket to go. It's going to be out of bounds off of the Golden Falcons. So the Raiders uh, got, away with, got away with one right there just from the simple point of, uh, you know, you let her drive right down the heart of the lane. Really kind of uncontested. Thompson finds Hubbard at the elbow. Back to Thompson. Now swung wise for three. Off the mark there. A little too much put on that one. Down court. Lawrence with a wide open layup for two. So all four points so far going to Madeline Lawrence to open up the evening here for the Golden Falcons. Wise takes it right inside, no good on the shot. And back come Winchester the other way. In the corner, back to Chamberlain for three, off the mark. Macy Chamberlain gets the rebound and the put back to go. So the foul will be on the 24, Lexi Morrow. That'll be her first, team's first. Ian Chamberlain at the line here for one more and completes the three-point play. Wise will now push it up four here for Waffle Honey. Now he lost the handle on him back up top. Dangerous pass. Now Thompson takes a hold of Reigns. Back to Wise. Skip pass on to Morrow. It's going to be a turnover. Bad pass there by Humbert, unfortunately. Nice. Oh, it's okay. Down low, Lawrence for a wide open two. And we're going to have a quick timeout taken here by Waffle Honey with 4.37 remaining. Then the opening quarter will step aside and we'll be back with more after this break. Folks, welcome back. Coming out of the timeout again with the Raiders down by seven early here in this first quarter. Again, just got to be patient here on offense. Give what the defense, uh, take what the defense gives you here. But unfortunately, the Raiders have had three turnovers here in this opening quarter. Or pardon me, four. So we'll have a foul called here on Lady Raider number 22, Lexi Humbert. That'll be her first, team second of the half. And the first one will be up and good. And the second one up and good as well. So now a 11-2 lead. Wise down court here to Wolf. Good job of getting it over there. Now Morrow in the corner. Got to be confident with the basketball right there. Got to know exactly where you got to go. Got to execute whatever game plan is on there. Trying to find Thompson on the back. Cut nearly turned over again. Some of our pass has been a little too, uh, a little too dangerous, so to speak. You got to, again, that's what I'm talking about, being patient. Taking what the defense gives you. And go from there. The flat pass, another turnover. Off the mark there, Lawrence with the rebound. Can't get the put back to go. Wise collects the rebound. Her first now of the night. Hand off now, Morrow will find Wise. Wise with a wide open three. Still too much on it. 
Might want to take a couple steps back from here on now. Wise put a little much muscle behind it there as Wise will pick one off. First turnover now of the night here for the Golden Falcons. Wise now down low. Morrow will get a block, and it's going to be out of bounds. Off of Wapa Honey. That looked to have been off of Winchester. I don't know where they got that one at. So Chamberlain swung on down court now. It is, I think that was number 11. Not sure. That was number 10 with the two point bucket. Wise with a screen, Thompson rolling off of it. She'll find Wolf. Thompson for two, no good. Gets her own rebound. Shot by Morrow, rolls in and out, no good. Love the hustle there by Humbert. Collects another rebound. Giving her team another chance. That's all you can ask for. Multiple opportunities here. We rebounded really well the other night at Yorktown. Thompson maneuvers her way right around the defender for an open two. Oh, nice. Yeah. And get the basket to go. Let's see what number that was. I believe it was Chamberlain. And indeed it was back at Chamberlain. Foul called here on number 22, Lexi Humbert. Her second, team's third. So we'll see Ashley England and Jalen Willis now in here for the first time tonight. Yeah. And a free throw up and good. So England will now bring it up court here for Wampahani. Just trying to find something out here offensively. Get, get some kind of flow, get some kind of positivity heading your way. And so now we'll have a reach-in foul on Winchester's number 11. Campbell, that's her first, he's first. So we'll see Morrow and Thompson back in. So a quick breather for them as they come in for Humbert and Will. England on to Wise in the corner. She'll dribble and find Morrow. Back to Wise in the corner. England for three. Off the mark there. Not a bad idea. But just unfortunately, not able to be effective on the shot. Chamberlain back up top now to Macy Chamberlain. Swung on now at number four. Moore. Cross court pass, Chamberlain takes it in for two and knocks it home. Wise for two, no good, and still a little too strong. Morrow with another rebound. And the, ba the basket does count. So the foul on number four. Moore, her second, or her, pardon me, her first, he's second. Tomorrow out the line here for one more. And the free throw will be up. He would nicely done there by Lexi. Unable to finish, Willis corrals her first rebound of the night. The Raiders again. I'll go for the last shot here. In this quarter on a good note, deflected ball. And he's going to come away with it. Nobody knows. Thompson finally does. On the rise in the corner, shots up. Still no good. Morrow with the rebound. Man, if we can just get Wise going here. He's had some good looks, just unfortunately hasn't been able to knock him home. Morrow, corner three. A little too strong. Wise with the rebound. Rebound, rebound, Wise! Be patient. Got to be patient. Rebound, rebound, rebound. England for three and off the mark. 
as time expires. So 18-7, Winchester after one quarter play. We'll step aside here for a break, and we'll be back here at the start of the second quarter on the WHS Network. Alrighty, folks, welcome back as we come out here in the second quarter with the Raiders down by 11 to open up this second quarter. That's some pretty decent movement here on offense. Need to take care of the ball a little bit better. Had five first uh, first quarter turnovers, but really outside of that, um, we just got to crank it up on the defensive end and start finding some more shots on the offensive side. No good for Lawrence. We've got to get a block out. There's no way. But she should be getting a rebound over four girls, for heaven's sakes. And now a foul call. So bailed them out with three offensive rebounds and then fouled them on a three-point shot. Uh, man, that's just, I ain't going to get it done there, unfortunately. So the foul called on number 30, Ashley England. She'll pick up her first, team's fourth. So off the mark here with the first one. It's number 11, Campbell, out the line here for Winchester. Knocks on the second, so now one of two. Second one, uh, or third one rather, up and good as well. So two of three there for Campbell. And the Raiders will turn it right back over. Getting going too fast. Again, slow the pace down a little bit. Let it develop. And um, again, you know, we, we need to still find an emphasis of working the ball inside. I think there's sometimes here we're, we're going too quickly, working around the perimeter too much, which you know can be beneficial. Uh, but then there's other times you know, I'd really like to see us pound the pound the post there and see what we can find on the inside. See a perfect example right there. You find an open Lawrence for two. So 22-7 now, and we're going to have a timeout taken here by Wapahani. So this will be their second charge timeout of the night. And we'll go ahead and stick right here with you during our game break. And 22-7 lead here. We'd like to thank some of our sponsors here this evening. Stoops Island Road Group, York and GMC dealership owned by Randy Stoops. Located at 4055 West Clare Lane in Muncie, Indiana. Steam sounds a wide variety of brand new and premium vehicles of quality brand new. So, you know, if you have any questions or need them or uh, want to take a look at some of the vehicles, you can contact Stoops at 765-288-1903 and also visit their online website at stoopsauto.com. So, I greatly appreciate them. Again, it's, uh, it's the holiday season, so um, they have great deals going on out there. So, head on out to Stoops. Buy a brand new car, buy a new a used car, whatever the case might be, whatever the whatever the budget, uh, you know, whatever kind of budget you got. Twenty-two seven, the Raiders have got to get going quickly here. Falling down now, and the Raiders will lose it out of bounds. Last touch here by Winchester. And down and out of Willis, another dangerous pass. Thompson as Willis sets the screen now. Wise here on the right wing. Willis in the corner, back to Wise. 
Willis will take the three. Ooh, just off the mark right there. Nice shot. Yeah, and you're open. Yes, I like to see us work the ball in more, but again, if you have a if, they, if you have an open shot, might as well take advantage. Wolf no good on the shot, and it's going to be out of bounds off the Golden Falcons. So we'll sub back in here, number five, Eric Cowper. Willis cross court pass tomorrow. Wise will take the three and got the friendly bounce to go. Beautiful shot there. Good to see Cameron get on the board. We've got to have everybody, uh, everybody clicking on all cylinders here this evening. Uh, it's near takeaway there by Willis. Now cross court pass. Chamberlain for three. Off the mark there. It's going to be out of bounds off of Winchester. So turning to action for the Golden Falcons, we'll see number 10, Megan Lord, uh, Morgan Lawrence, excuse me, Morgan Lawrence, back in here for the Golden Falcons. 22 10s, your score, the Raiders. Looking for some more baskets here. Wise pushing it up four here for Wapahani. Now back here to Thompson, swung on Morrow. Wise from the free throw line, no good on the shot. Morgan Lawrence now on the Macy Chamberlain for three. No good. And that's going to be a foul. Looks to be on Madeline Lawrence. And Dita will be. So that'll be her first team's third. And down to Thompson. Now back to Wise. And she'll... Back the ball over half court here to begin with the Raiders with another opportunity to inch a little bit closer here. And off the wheel, now to Thompson. Morrow to Wise, dumped down low Willis, looking to go big with the left hand, no good on the shot. And out of bounds, and the Raiders will retain possession. Inbounded outside here to Laxie Morrow. Now Wolf takes charge to Wise in the corner. Morrow looking to post up down the post. Wise will lose the handle on it, and here comes Winchester back the other way. So that was number 10, Morgan Lawrence, and she'll head to the line now shooting two. So the foul's on number two, Laxie Wolf, her first. Team's fifth. It's actually Campbell at the line here for Winchester. She knocks down the first one. Second one up and rolls off the rim no good. Morrow corrals the rebound. That will now give Lexi three on the night. Baker for three, no good. Tell you what, Morrow had a whale of a ball game the other night. Had four points, but 13 rebounds. Lawrence for two, no good again. Got to find a way to get the block out. So we're going to have a foul here on Morrow. If anything, possibly could have been over the back, but no call. That's what he's seen, so he got to go away with it. So we'll have Morrow picking up her second, team sixth. Four and a half to go. We have number four, Moore to inbound. Shots up, no good. And Cochran out to two. Again, those second chance points are a killer right here. So we'll have a timeout now taken by Wapahani. 
Well, now Wapahani is only going to have two timeouts remaining to last of the rest of this ball game. And you still have a long way to go, a full uh, over 20 minutes left to go in this ball game. So, folks, um, we'll go ahead and stick right here with you again during the timeout. We'll be back at it tomorrow night uh, with now Raider Boys basketball. As, uh, as we got the Lapel Bulldogs uh, traveling there to Raider Gymnasium. That'll be a JV start time, 6 o'clock, varsity game to follow again. Uh, we'll be on the year probably right around 5.50 or so uh, with the Raiders live pregame for the junior varsity game. And then obviously we'll have the, the varsity game after that. And then Saturday night, back at home again with Raider Boys basketball as we welcome the Knights Town Panthers to Raider Gymnasium. So um, big time upcoming games here for the Raider Boys basketball team and a big one, especially tomorrow night. I uh, followed up again with uh, Knights Town on Saturday. So we're really looking forward to those. We hope you all can join us. Coming up tomorrow night and Saturday night for Raider Boys basketball. Inbound to a wide open Baker, no good on the shot. And now Lawrence will lose it out of bounds. That's Morgan Lawrence. Three turnovers now overall for Winchester, inbounded. Where tomorrow is Thompson again will motor up floor. Baker in the corner, another three pointer up off the mark. Tell you what, we cannot find uh, anything whatsoever except the rim right now as Willis grounds her second rebound. The Raiders again, we've had good shots, and it's not like we're, you know, we're settling for bad shots, just nothing will go in. Wolf with the rebound, dumps it down low. Willis, no good for two. Now blocked by Thompson, but then Morgan Lawrence recovers and puts it up for two. Nice take inside, Morrow no good for two. Battle for the basketball, it's gonna be out of bounds off of Wapa Honey. So in will come Humbert for Willis, and now number three, Chamberlain, as well as number 23, Macy Chamberlain, back in here for Winchester. Lawrence on the chamber in here out near half court area. Now back into the corner. Lawrence is looking to drive baseline momentarily there, but nothing there. Back at Chamberlain for three. Off the mark. Ball bounced around a couple different times. Now Lawrence for two. And she'll be fouled on the play. Again, the importance of blocking out and rebounding. That has been one of the biggest keys now for Wapa, honey. You know, and again, you know, some of these, uh, you know, could go either way. You know, might be some over the back. I don't know. That's not for me to judge or come up with. But either way, as long as you get the block out, that's about all you can do. If they climb over your back, then hopefully the referees will do their job. But uh, you can't expect them to, uh, to do anything for you if you're not getting the block out. So the foul there was on Morrow. That was her third, now team seventh. Right about two and a half remaining here in the first half. The second one good for Lawrence. Baker pushing up court. Willis for three, no good there. Then to the corner, Macy Chamberlain for three. No good that time, Humbert with the rebound. Nicely done there, now three rebounds here for the young lady. 
Baker with some behind the back action on to Cameron Wise and the Raiders will set up their offense. Baker hands it to Will and that's going to be a takeaway. Traveling violation. Give them now four turnovers down here in the first half. See number five. Well, thought there was going to be a substitution there, but inbound the ball. So the Raiders back at it, down by 18. Takeaway. Nine first half turnovers for Wapahani. Another nice, easy layup for two. A turnover and then a foul. Put a few more seconds back up on the clock. So the foul now on number 22, Lexi Hubbard. So that's her third. Team's the eighth. Tell you what, the Raiders are in some look at the situation now. You have Hubbard and Morrow both with three fouls apiece. Uh, you know, yes, you got to play smart, but I don't know. I'd, I'd probably would have got her out of there. I mean, right now you're down by 20 points here anyway. You want to save or at least, you know, give your team an opportunity. Uh, and, and give some of these girls an opportunity in the second half, but instead they're going to be in some foul trouble here. Wise corrals the rebound, give her now four on the night. Cross court, England drives inside, no good. And then the Golden Falcons will turn it right back over to us. So Cowper now in for Winchester. Back to Y, she'll take the three and knocks it down. A big shot there by Cameron Rice, her second three of the night. And then right back to him, Morgan Chamber, or Morgan Lawrence rather. There's too many Chamberlains and Lawrences. Off the mark for Thompson, and that's going to be the end of the first half. So you have time to score Winchester 33, Wapahani 13. We'll step aside and we'll be back with your halftime report coming your way on the WHS Network.
need legal advice or representation, you can trust B. Joseph Davis, attorney at law in Muncie. Our focus is personal injury. We handle cases involving serious injuries, wrongful deaths, all vehicle crashes, nursing home cases, medical product and drug recalls, and slips, trips, and falls. No fee until we win. We offer evening, weekend, home, and hospital appointments for your convenience. Contingency fee arrangements are available. For a free consultation, call B. Joseph Davis, attorney at law, today. Alrighty, folks, welcome back here on the WHS Network on YouTube.com with uh, our halftime report. It's not been too pretty here so far tonight here for Wapahani, unfortunately. And I'm not, like I said, not trying to be mean uh, about that or disrespectful whatsoever, but it is what it is. Um, you know, we had uh, 10 first half turnovers, might have even missed one or two, I don't know, but you know, we, we've, uh, you know, there's been times where, yes, we've worked the ball around pretty good. We've had some good looks at the basket, but uh, just unfortunately have not been able to knock down shots, and that's, I'm sure, extremely frustrating for these girls, you know, because they've had a, a good amount of open opportunities. It's just not falling. And, you know, so as, you know, as the game goes along here, uh, at least, again, you know, this is my way of thinking anyway, and everybody thinks like me, and that's perfectly fine. I'm sure, you know, that's probably a good thing, I guess. But, uh, you know, I'd like to see us drive more. You know, be be more aggressive in taking the ball to the basket. I think we're leaving a lot more shots to where we're, you know, in, just inside the three-point line or outside the three-point line. That's where bulk of our, sh our, our uh, shots are. And so I'd really like to see us be more aggressive and, and um, driving to the paint and, you know, and looking, you know, looking for the post presence down there. You know, you have... Uh, you know, two tall, you know, three or four tall girls. You know, you have uh, Humbert, and you have Morrow, and you have Willis, um, Cameron Wise. You know, you got some girls that, yes, you know, yeah, they're agile and, and athletic enough uh, to be able to be on, on the perimeter, but I'd like to see them down the post more. That's where they, I believe, can make their presence known a lot more. And, uh, you know, so I, mean, I don't know. You know, it's, it's just one of those things you have to... Uh, uh, again, if you have a design play that calls for something different, then that's, you know, you got to run the play. It is what it is. But, um, you know, I would just like to see us be a little bit more active on the inside. You've seen what we could do uh, throughout the season. And, and even in uh, that Yorktown game the other night, uh, you know, when we started being aggressive and, and driving to the hoop and, and, you know, not necessarily always have to take that shot, but if you're able to find someone else open, you know, it creates an avenue and, and a plethora of different opportunities. And, but if you, uh, you know, if you can find some easy buckets on the inside, you've know, got to be able to finish. Finish strong, uh, be patient, but be aggressive and be smart at the same time. You know, we have a couple ladies here 
uh, with three fouls apiece. You have uh, Lexi Morrow and Lexi Humbert, both with three fouls apiece. That's big time here for the Raiders, because uh, you know now you're in a situation you're you know probably. Oh, I, I would imagine we'll probably come out here um, with both of those girls. You know, from the starting lineup coming out to begin this third quarter, I would imagine. Um, he might not, you know, he, he might uh, sub them in sometime around the, you know, four or five minute mark left in the third, I don't know. But still nonetheless, those two ladies specifically, uh, yes, continue to be aggressive, but now you really have to be smart. You're in a situation now where your next foul is your fourth, and you're not going to be seen any more time until the fourth quarter. And, you know, that's a, that's a big burden to place on the team because, you know, you, you know, you need some of these girls in there. You know, not that anyone else can't do the job because they most definitely can. Um, but, you know, then you're asking more out of other girls that, you know, maybe are trying to fulfill other roles. And so, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's just uh, it's been a tough way of going here tonight for Wapahani offensively. Uh, defensively, I still think we've done a – uh, a, a pretty decent job. You know, we're, we're contesting shots. The bad part is, is we're not getting defensive rebounds. And, you know, so you're giving Winchester two and three and four opportunities each time, uh, you know, here and there throughout the uh, throughout the ball game. You can't afford to do that. You can't afford that to happen. I mean, you're giving them way too many opportunities. You're, it's one and done. That's how you got to look at it. That's how you got to come out there. And, and approach the ball game here. They get one opportunity, if if that. You know, it'd be great if you can create a turnover every time down. That would be lovely. More, more than likely, that's probably not going to happen. But what can happen is settling, uh, get them to settle for one shot. And making sure you're rebounding the basketball, getting your team down on the offensive end, and trying to put something together to put some more points on the board. But there's no reason to, you know, no reason to panic. Come out here in the second half. Be ready to go. Again, uh, be aggressive. That's what I would like to see more of here from Wapahani. Be more aggressive. Get the ball to the free throw line. We've shot one free throw so far here tonight, and that was by Lexi Morrow. She knocked down that free throw, by the way. Um, you know, but we've got we've to do a better job, I believe, of, of creating more shot opportunities inside uh, the two-point margin, more important or more specific inside the post. Um, and, you know, because I think, you know, once you get that inside game established, that's only going to benefit our outside game and hopefully give us some confidence to knock down some shots. So 33-30, Winchester leads it here as we're about to open up this third quarter. We'll step aside. We'll be back right after this. Folks, welcome back here. Start of the third quarter with the Raiders. And down here by 20. Again, got to be patient. Stay uh, well, stay the course here. But, you know, just got to continue to work hard. It's not uh, from the lack of that. You know, these ladies have definitely been working their tails off. We've just we got to start playing some better ball. So 35-13 now. So we'll have a reach in the foul here on number three, Chamberlain. So that'll be her first. Team's first of the half. Wise dribbles there to the left wing. Shots up. No good. And that's going to head out of bounds. Chamberlain swung on here to number 11, Campbell. She'll take it, drops it outside. Now Maddie Lawrence. Grass will take there, no good. Nice defense right there from Lexi Humbert and Lexi Morrow. Morrow comes up with her fourth rebound on the night. No good, Humbert with the offensive rebound. Unable to get that to go. Now Wise will be fouled. So we'll have number two, Lawrence, her second. 
13 second of the half. So you have Wise at the line shooting two, so we're already going to shoot more free throws than what we did in the entire first half. As the first one's going to be off the mark, no good. Second free throw attempt by Wise will be up and good. So, hey, you got one for two. That's something to build off of. Got to get you a defensive stop here and hopefully head back the other direction with some points. Campbell swung on to Chamberlain. Now to Morgan Lawrence. First feed down low. Now to Maddie. She'll take the three in the corner off the mark there. Thompson with the rebound. Gives her her second on the night. Motoring down fourth and angling right through and Thompson will get a shot blocked. The right idea though. I like the aggressiveness. I understand, yeah, yeah, she got the shot blocked, but you still love the aggressiveness and at least willingness to take it inside. So the foul there on Wise, that's her first, team's first. Now, again, you know, in, in situations like that, if you're dribbling into a lot of traffic, you know, you might kind of in some ways want to steer a little bit away from that. You don't want to force anything. But she had a pretty good look, unfortunately, just... Uh, Wound up blocked away there by uh, Lawrence on the shot there by Thompson. So we'll see Reese Baker in for Madison. You know, at the line here for one more back at Chamberlain. And a free throw will be off the mark there as well. Loose ball. Lexi Wolf comes up with a rebound. Nicely done there. So essentially, you just got a defensive stop. Even though it was a foul, you got a defensive stop. Now let's get, to, let's get us a score right here. No good iron on the shot. Cowper with the rebound. Down court, Lawrence will turn the ball back over here to Wapa Honey. Six turnovers now for Winchester, number 10. Morgan Lawrence back in here for number 23, Macy Chamberlain. Cameron Wise to inbound, now to Wolf, back to Wise. And she'll bring it up floor quickly now. Again, <laughs> aggressive. That's what I like to see, just another shot block. Wolf at the helm of things, hands it off to Baker. Nearly stripped away, wise. Dribbles to find Wolf once again. Humbert looking to post up down low, but the Raiders will turn it over. Another loose ball, and instead we're going to have a timeout taken by the Golden Falcons, which will be their first charge timeout of the evening. So we have 5.22 remaining here in the third quarter. 35-14, we'll be back right after this. All right, folks, following the timeout again with Winchester up here by 21. 5.22 remaining here in the third. Again, uh, later on, we um, just so you know, we will not be having a post-game report. Um, you know, usually away games, it's, it's tough to do one. We might be able to get uh, Coach Hudson up here for a quick interview. Uh, but that's about it. We try to get packed up quickly here to head back because uh, I know the girls, they come out of the locker and they go in it and, and then come right back out within a couple minutes. So uh, it, it takes us a little bit of time to get every, all of our equipment packed up. But again, that will be later on following the ball game. Now to Lawrence down low. She'll find Chamberlain. No good for two. Cowper with the rebound. And again, another missed block out. Wolf now tomorrow. Trying to find Humbert there on the back cut towards the basket. Well defended. Now Humbert for two from the free throw line. Tickles the twine. 
to see Humbert get back on the board here now. Four points to go along with four rebounds. And Humbert comes up with a rebound there now. Rebound number five. Wise pushes it up four, finds Baker. Three-pointer up and no good. No good for two, a loose ball. Baker, some hard-nosed action there on the inside, able to corral the rebound, her first of the night. Wolf up top, Humbert for two. Nearly showing off some range right there, not a bad shot. And a wide open more than Lawrence for two. Wise for three, no good. So we'll have Madison Thompson and Jalen Willis back in here for Wapahani. And a timeout by Wapahani. We'll take a timeout here with them. 39-16, we'll be back right after this. folks back out of the timeout 309 remaining here in the third and the Raiders getting down by a little bit here but still some time to go you gotta chip away you can't get it all back at once Baker from long range no good Humbert with another rebound and lost it there and it's gonna be out of bounds so Three turnovers now here in the second half for Winchester. Just down court now, Wolf. Looking to go to work here again. Not much movement here on the offense. Baker in the corner. And a traveling violation. Chamberlain trap there now finds Campbell. Maddie Lawrence here at the elbow, dribble back out. Campbell for three in a corner. No good there. Lawrence with a rebound and we'll have a foul underneath. It's going to be before the shot. It's going to be on number 33, Jalen Willis. It'll be her first, team second. We'll see Wise and Morrow back in for the Raiders. Off the mark there, Morrow corralling her fifth board of the night. And Thompson pushing up four quickly here. We gotta find some points, but instead turn it right back over again. And now Chamberlain for two. Wise cross court tomorrow. Yeah. 
Morrow with another rebound just outside. Baker, no good. And the bank's open for Lortz. Morrow will take the three. No good on the shot. Rebounded there by number 50, Taylor Hicks. Little shot fake and layups up and good for Campbell. We have a moving screen on number 33, Jalen Willis. That'll be her second, team's third. All right, it's 45 seconds to go here in the third. And bound there into the corner, Chamberlain back up top now here to number four, Moore. Down low and fouled on the play again. We'll see number 33, Jalen Willis, pick up her third. Team's four. And we'll see number 10, Morgan Lawrence, at the line, shooting two. First one's off the mark. So the score remains here, 45-16. 38 seconds to go. Second of two will be up and good. <laughs> Lawrence up top to Chamberlain and swung on to Campbell in the corner. Driving baseline, dumps at the Calper, and we're going to have a jump ball. Good job of Baker getting in there and trying to get the ball back here for the Raiders, and she does so after the jump ball. Wells down court here to Wise. She'll take the shot for two. No good, bounces off the rim. And it's going to be a takeaway. Baker did not get the shot up, but good job there of the interception. As it's a 46 to 16 lead at the end of three quarters. We'll step aside here for a break, and we'll be back with the start of the fourth on the WHS Network. folks, back at it here with quarter number four of the evening. And the Raiders again down here in this one, unfortunately, but just got to keep pressing forward here. Can't give up, got to keep chugging along. And we're going to have a traveling violation on the Golden Falcons. So now that's going to be turnover number six in the second half, gives them 11. Now for the ball game. I'll tell you what, they got that ball inbounded quick there. Wasn't even ready for them. All right, so Wise for three. Hey, there we go. 
That's not welcoming to see. So Wise, Wise is the only person that's hit a three tonight. That's three of them now for her on the evening. Well, ten points overall. Layup no good. So it looks like we'll have a foul underneath here on Baker. Her first, team's fifth. Down low, Cowper will now be fouled. And this one's going to be on Willis, her fourth. Team sixth. And a deflected pass picked off Ashley England going coast to coast. Look to have been fouled on the play, and instead, England will pick up her foul. I thought she was fouled on the uh, on the layup there, but no call. So England instead will pick up her second, team's seventh. So the Falcons now in the bonus. And now they'll be heading to the line. So we'll have number three back at Chamberlain back in. For Winchester. 7-11 remaining here in regulation. So the first will be up and good here for Campbell. And the second one up and good as well. Wise for two, no good. And Winchester, last touch on that one as it's out of bounds. And a three-point basket up and good. Jalen Willis strikes from downtown. So her first points of the night, nice shot there by Jalen. And a turnover, Willis comes down court and ends up picking up a turnover there. Seven turnovers now for Winchester. Wise for two and gets it to go. So now we're starting to see a little bit of life put on here by Wampahoney. So I have a timeout now called. 6.34 to go here in the fourth. And a timeout will be taken here by... Winchester, so this will be their second charge timeout of the ball game again. Uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow night, folks, uh, with a JV start time of 6 o'clock as the Raider boys basketball team will be back at home taking on the Lapel Bulldogs. Don't want to miss that one. Again, coming up tomorrow night, JV start at 6, varsity to follow. Again, we'll be on the air with our Raiders live pregame uh, right around 5.50, 5.55, somewhere around in that general area. Uh, for the Junior Varsity broadcast and then with the Varsity broadcast to follow that one. And then Saturday, again, back at it again with Will Later Boys Basketball at home as well uh, for two games in two days as we take on the Knights Town Panthers. So make sure to join us for both of those. Also, come on out, support the Raider basketball team at Raider Gymnasium uh, again Friday and Saturday night. Of course, if you can't make it, you can watch us on the broadcast. If you can make it and want to go back and watch it, well, that's all right as well. We encourage it. So inbounded here to Lawrence. First down court, Campbell. It's a two. Baker takes it inside and layup no good. Hicks with the rebound. Lawrence pushing up court here, motoring down and shot's gonna be up. Rolls off the rim, no good. Gets her own rebound, no good on that. And so for heaven's sakes, gets uh, two, maybe three rebounds right there. I, I lost track to be quite frank with you, but England will pick up her third. Team's eighth.
So the first one's up and good. 51-24 now is your score. Second free throw attempt will be up. That will be good. Cross court pass. Willis into the corner. Wise for three. Off the mark there. Morrow with the rebound. Can't get the put back to go. So seven rebounds for Morrow on the night. You got uh, six for Humbert. Five for Wise. Of course, there's some other ones here as well, but those are the most notable and highest ones uh, as far as the rebounding total on the evening. Wise no good for two. Deflector down a couple times. England with the board. Baker no good. And a step through by Lawrence. Good for two. 15 now on the night here for Maddie Lawrence. Morrow loses the handle on that one. Turnover number 16 for the ball game for the Raiders. Campbell here in the corner. Down low, Hicks looking to go to work. Well defended there by Baker. As Willis will get a hand in on it there as well. It'll be out of bounds off of the Golden Falcons. Wise, corner three, no good. Back at Chamberlain with the rebound. Down low, now up top here. Lawrence looking to go to work on the inside. And again, found on the play. On number 24, Lexi Morrow, her fourth. Team's ninth. It's Maddie Lawrence at the line, shooting two. And the first one's up and good. Let's see Layla Lee now in here for the first time this evening for Wapahoney. And we have number 23, Macy Chamberlain, and number 32, Brooklyn Hummel, now in for Winchester. Second one up and gets the friendly roll to go. Swing pass to Willis now, wise for two. No good. Out of bounds off the Golden Falcons. Raiders retain. With right about four and a half remaining. And now timeout taken by Wapahoney. We'll take one right here with them. 56 24. We'll be back after this. So out of the timeout now, and Ashley England will get the Raiders on the board again with a three-point basket. So sorry we came back from the timeout a little late there, but now two up and good for Winchester.
Willis from beyond the arc, no good. Layla Lee for two on the putback. So she will receive her first rebound and points of the night. Lawrence into the corner now. Campbell down low to Cowper for an easy two. Willis now to Wise for two. No good. And we're going to have a jump ball in which the possession arrow will favor Wapahani. So we'll see now Kendall Thrasher as well as Lauren Luce in the ball game for the first time tonight. I believe Reese Baker also might have just came in. England from the corner. Off the mark there. Chamberlain on the Lawrence. Up top to Morgan Lawrence. Back to Chamberlain now right here on the right side. Three-pointer up and three-pointer good. Now Baker for three. No good. And here comes Lawrence once again pushing down four back to Chamberlain for the layup. And the layup's going to be wiped off. So the foul on number 32 of Winchester. Hummel, that's her first. Team's third. Up top, Lawrence will be fouled on the play. So the foul here on England will be her fourth. Team's tenth, so now the Falcons in the double bonus. Lawrence at the line, shooting two. So a little minor dispute here, trying to get everything out of the understanding there. So finally, recognize going to be two shots here for Lawrence. First one will be up and good. Let's see Malia York now in here for the first time this evening for Ashley England. Let's see Gina Moore and also number 54, Lanter now in here for the Golden Falcons. And a second one up and good as well. Thrasher <laughs> on to Lee. A near takeaway there, now to loose outside. York now for three, no good. Cowper corrals the rebound, and here comes Winchester once again. Cowper now back outside. Here's a dish feed to Hummel, no good. Got Morgan Lawrence with the rebound that time. And that's going to be a Raider takeaway. Nine second half turnovers for Winchester. Now gives them 14 for the ball game. Thrasher for three. No good there. And now we'll see number 12, Lily Lantern. She will now 
saw them here for the first time tonight. And now we'll have Trinity Brozier in the game here for the Raiders. Also seen her first action of the evening. Those feet inside and the layup will be up. And it will be good. So again, we will not have a Raiders Live post game following the ball game. Got to get uh, packed up here quickly and get back on the bus and head back home. And then we'll get this game downloaded. So there was a foul here on Malia York. That's her first. So Lily Lanter at the line, shooting two. And the first one will be up and good. The second one up and good as well. Thrasher on the lead, cross court to York. Back up top, Thrasher finds Lee for three and knocks it down from downtown. So Layla Lee now five points. And we'll have another jump ball, possession favoring the Golden Falcons. Okay, so now they're saying swap a honey's ball. Heck, who knows? All I know is we got 33 seconds left in this one. Shots up, no good there by Lee. 69-32. Get back outside now. Swung on the hunter, looking to drive baseline. Dumped underneath, Calper for two and fouled on the play. So the foul on Lauren Lewis, her first. And Cowper at the line for two. No good there on the second. Gets a rebound and the putback. And it's going to be out of bounds off of the Golden Falcons. So loose to inbound. Lee back over to loose and a Raider turnover. Folks, final score here this evening. The Winchester Golden Falcons defeat your Waffle Honey Lady Raiders 71 to 32. Again, no post game report here tonight. Uh, got to get uh, got to get packed up and head back home to uh, get this game downloaded. Again, we appreciate y'all for joining us here. Unfortunately, Waffle Honey out on the smiling side of the scoreboard here this evening as they look to get back at it next week on the 17th, which will be next Tuesday, I believe it's the 17th, uh, at uh, Frankton. So that'll be a big game coming up uh, next Tuesday night against the Frankton Lady Eagles. So again, we appreciate you all for joining us. Appreciate all our sponsors. And so until tomorrow night, uh, we'll have uh, Raider Boys Basketball live, uh, the Raiders live pregame starting around 5.50, 5.55 as we welcome the Lapel Bulldogs to Raider Gymnasium. So until then, folks, I'm Brandon Morbilius, alongside cameraman Jordan Redbeard McCoy saying good night from the Winchester Fieldhouse.